ruthless Robbie Lawler. For Lawler, it all comes down to two letters, K-O. Ruthless Robbie Lawler, middleweight, bent door firework. About my junior year in high school, I started training with the Milicic fighting systems and all those great fighters, so ever since I've been doing it. And this one is over! Once the bell rings, it is a big deal. And I love competing, I love pushing myself to the limits and testing myself. Robbie Lawler returns to glory in the middleweight division! I'm not too worried about what they say. It's about what you do. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the cage in our main event of the evening, please welcome the challenger, Ruthless Robbie Lawler. You know, Ruthless Robbie Lawler has fought everywhere around the world. In fact, if you put up a sign and it says fights tonight, you're more than likely to see Lawler in one of those bouts. He's tasted success in the UFC, the IFL, and Pride Championship fighting. Regarding tonight's title fight against Marillo Ninja Hua, the icon sport middleweight champ sent Ninja an ominous message when he told us, quote, if Hua decides to stand for a little bit, that will be too long, end quote. Other than that guy sitting right behind us, Phil Baroni, there might not be anyone in that 185 pound division that possesses more punch of power than Lawler. After his win versus Trigg, He's hoping he can ride the wave of his recent success tonight. Robbie has predicted a knockout maybe in the first round. This will definitely be a match up of Lawler's power versus Ninja's speed. Ruthless Robbie Lawler about to step into the cage as Icon Sport middleweight champion. Will he leave as Elite XC middleweight title holder? His opponent, Ninja Hua, is a worldwide favorite in the sport of MMA. Having competed in his native Brazil, Japan, and England, it is right here in the United States where he put it all together to become a champion. Tonight, he hopes to continue his reign atop the Elite XC middleweight division. Murilo Ninja Rua, Midway Champion, Curitiba, Brazil. And the fight is over. Murilo Ninja Rua becomes the first ever Elite XC Middleweight Champion. Winning the championship title was one of the greatest moments of my life. Normally, fighters are nervous about defending the title, but I've been training very hard, and I feel very confident going into this fight. I'm very proud to represent my school, Shudo Box. Militage has many great fighters, but I think the Chudo Box is number one in the world. Robbie is a very strong puncher. If I can't knock him out, I'll take him to the ground and get a submission. I love the fans in America, but I look forward to taking both belts home to Brazil. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the Elite XC middleweight champion, Murilo Ninja Hua. Murilo Ninja Hua is in the midst of living his lifelong dream, becoming the first ever Elite XC champion, has really helped him begin to escape the large shadow of his younger brother, the preternaturally talented pride superstar, Mauricio Shogun. His brother recently marrying his fiance Hanada, getting ready for his Octagon debut, but I know he is cheering on his brother here tonight. But Bill, something that struck me as a little funny was the fact that Shogun told us that he thinks he's got more punching power than Robbie Lawler. I don't think it's funny, but with all due respect to Ninja, I, I, I don't feel that his punching power is on par with Lawler. In my eyes, it's Ninja's versatility, his speed, his dynamic style that are his true weapons and his potential advantage. I agree bill because even though ninja has improved his boxing he wants to take this fight into the late rounds because he feels lawler's cardio is suspect there's been plenty of buzz surrounding this elite xc middleweight title fight we're now just moments away let's go to the tail of the tape the elite xc middleweight champion marillo ninja hua an icon sport middleweight champion, Robbie Lawler, who was two years older. They both 
stand 5'11", who will weigh in one pound less than Lawler, who of course comes from shooter box, Muay Thai Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Lawler, he's all about the striking and the brawling. And let's now again reset the rules of combat for Elite XC. Three judges score the fight based equally on striking, grappling, effective aggression, and cage control. Every round is scored on a 10 point must system. The winner receives 10 points, the loser nine or less. There are no knees to the head of a grounded opponent. Only the referee can stop the fight. To culminate the biggest night in Hawaiian mixed martial arts history, it's time to introduce your two champions here once again is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Blaisdell Arena here in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii as Elite XC in association with Icon and Rumble World Entertainment present the featured bout of the evening, five five-minute round scheduled for the Elite XC World Middleweight Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and MMA fans joining us around the world, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, standing 5 feet 11, he weighed in at 185 pounds. He's a dangerous mixed martial artist known as a striker and a brawler who has compiled a record of 14 wins, 4 losses, with 11 wins coming by way of knockout and one submission to his credit. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome tonight's challenger, the Icon Middleweight Champion, tonight making his Elite XC debut, fighting out of the hit squad from Bettendorf, Iowa, introducing the hard-hitting, ruthless Robbie Lawler. And his opponent across the cage on my right. The defending champion fighting out of the red corner, standing 5 feet 11 inches. He weighed in at 184 pounds. He's an all-around MMA fighter specializing in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. His record stands at 14 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw with 5 knockouts and 7 submissions to his credit. Representing Shoot the Box and hailing from Curabita, Brazil, please welcome the explosive and defending Elite XC middleweight champion of the world, Murilo Ninja Hua. Once again, a referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki, now to give instructions. All right, for the championship bout. Yeah, I want you guys to follow my orders at all times, do a clean fight, touch gloves, and let's go. Steven, in your Pride Fighting Championships career, you announced two of Marilla Ninja Hua's bigger fights, losing via split decision to Quentin Rampage Jackson and Dan Henderson. Ruthless Robbie Lawler, meanwhile, has that one-punch knockout power. Both these guys are champions. One will leave the Elite XC middleweight champion, who is going to take it to the next level. I really don't know, Moral, but one thing is for sure, they both deserve to be here. That's, that's a definite. Five five-minute rounds for the Elite XC Middleweight Championship. Oh, they know. They know that one punch will turn the outcome of this. Lawler possesses lights out, knockout power. We've seen Ninja Hua stop Smoke and Joe Villasenor to become the Elite XC middleweight champion. But don't forget, Bill, as well, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu pedigree of Ninja. I think a little bit of respect being shown here. Nice that takes around. And there's the wrestling of Robbie Lawler coming out of the Militic camp. Yeah, and Hughes told us that they worked extensively on the ground game at the camp. Of course, Matt Hughes, former UFC welterweight champion in his corner. They have now formed the hit squad. Hughes intensive training near St. Louis. There's a right hook by Lawler. Ninja back on his feet, trying to get back in the game. Ninja being the aggressor standing. He's got to keep his chin down, though. He's got to keep his guard up also. 
One of the things Ninja did in the early part of his career was leave his chin up just like that. We've seen that as a habit of a lot of Brazilians. Ricardo Arona, a lot of Brazilian fighters with the Muay Thai, they do tend to leave their chins up, Stephen. Well, I think a lot of those guys come from the jiu-jitsu background because there's no strikes in, you know, sport jiu-jitsu, so they don't have to worry about that. But once they go into Muay Thai, they have to keep the chin down. It's really a basic fundamental of striking, and Ninja Hua there, high kick, blocked by Lawler. Looks like Lawler's kind of uh, lulling Ninja into a comfort level on his feet there. Nice low kick by Ninja Hua. Lawler did say that he was going to take his time because he felt that the area that he's improved the most is in his conditioning, but Ninja didn't think so. And talking to Matt Hughes, man, he says that now Lawler understands what a belt really means. He says he's matured a lot, he's got better conditioning, and he's really ready for this test. And if you think that Ninja Hua, if he says he doesn't think that Lawler's conditioning has improved, then you would expect the Brazilian champion to press the action, push the pace. Push the pace, yes, but save a little bit for later. And that's what he's doing. That was a good down right hand by Ninja. Why do, why do tomorrow what you can do today, Fight Professor? Absolutely. Because that's what makes excitement in mixed martial arts when they go for it. Midway through the opening round. Combination thrown by Hua. Lawler's cutting him off, trying to trying to impose his will now. The yeah, ninja is kind of single shotting. He's not really throwing combinations. Lawler's right hand using an effective jab. Nice combination put together by Robbie Lawler. That right hand by Robbie Lawler, especially his right hook, could be a problem. See who attacking the lead leg of Lawler, the southpaw. Left hand gets through the guard. Clinch. Watch the left hand over the top. Ninja now pressing the action along the fence. Lawler able to circle out. I think Ninja should go with a low kick a lot more here. Definitely. Just heard you. And he read your mind. Yeah, because you should stay on the boxing exchanges. He just made a nice uppercut from Lawler. But answered right with a uh, right hand. Robbie Lawler doing a good job of controlling the octagon, cutting it off for the most part. Ninja's doing well to his left, though. Hope I don't get sued for that. There's an inside cut kick by Maurice Murillo Ninja Hua. We should concentrate on kicking the legs of Robbie because once Robbie starts worrying about getting his legs kicked, he's not going to move in and try and drop those heavy punches. Hua's done a good job with those low kicks, like you said, Stephen, and he begins to resort again, but immediately. Lawler putting together a nice combination. It's who a single shooting. Lawler coming back with effective combinations. What do you score higher? The kicks to the leg or the combinations by ruthless Bobby Lawler? I would have to say the kicks to the leg are doing most of the damage because what's going to happen, and that, that's going to hurt nice his leg. What's going to happen is Robbie's going to start thinking about his legs, drop his hands, and he's going to get caught with a punch. Ninja is executing perfectly here. Just seen a couple of those before. Wanting to put an exclamation point on round number one. Lawler was moving around, but then when he got the body lock, he got this takedown into side control. But Ninja took his time and eventually got guard out of this position. So Lawler wanted to see what he could do here, especially with that right elbow. But Lawler had something else up his sleeve besides takedowns, and he tried, and he throws that right hook, and it's slipping around the guard of Ninja. And Lawler kept it up, including a couple pretty hard shots with kicks, but it was blocked by Ninja. No, they both talked about standing on their feet. Only 15 seconds of that round was spent on the mat. Gotta love the exchange of gamesmanship there at the end, too, and he blocked that high kick, both of them uh, giving their best Karate Kid impersonation. 
There you go, stick around. You ready? You ready? Let's go. I think that first round had a lot of ebb and flow to it because Lawler was stronger at the early part, but I believe Ninja started gaining control near the end. And Ninja comes out in round two, beginning to press the action a bit again, going downstairs for that kick, beginning to work more on the lead leg of ruthless Robbie Lawler. Very sound strategy on the part of Marillo Ninja Hua. You take away that lead leg, you take away a lot. Notice how Ninja's throwing a lot more jabs here. The idea is to throw the jab and Robbie doesn't know whether the right hand's coming next or the right low kick. Is Lawler waiting to launch that heavy left hand? Absolutely. Lawler connects. You better not wait too long. Good movement by Lawler, but still gets nailed with that kick, and he's not really checking a lot of those kicks. No, he's not. He only checked one in the first round. Single leg pickup, nice escape by Robbie Lawler, circling away. Now hits him with a hard left hand. Ninja's got to be sure to keep those hands up when they get in close like this. Good right hook by Lawler. Left elbow thrown by Ninja. Ninja telegraphing nice that sprawl. shot. Good Beautiful sprawl. sprawl. Really telegraphed it, and he rocks him with an uppercut. Ninja nods his head saying, OK, we're in. And that, now they're throwing caution to the wind here in round number two. That shot came all the way from Curitiba. Lawler saw it all the way from Iowa. Did that make sense? Body shot by Hua. Oh, beautiful tactic. Hua coming forward. Going for the takedown again and against Robbie Lawler. Very sound wrestler training with the likes of Matt Hughes. It's going to be a very hard task to achieve for Ninja Hua. Now Lawler unloading a left and right. Pressing Hua to the fence. Uh, it looks like Ninja's getting a little bit tired and it's the wrong time to do that. Especially with 2.30 left in the round. Halfway through this second round. Sustained action. Another elbow by Hua. And do I see Lawler smiling? In Definitely. That devious smiles is, as if to say, remember what he said, you want to keep it standing for a little bit, it's going to be over soon, but so far, I think a lot of that was the hype and the gamesmanship, but he is definitely, I think, for the most part, getting the better of these stand-up exchanges. I agree, and I believe he's like a spider spinning a web here. He's waiting for Ninja to throw shots, run out of gas, and then he's going to drop a bomb. You can see Bill Ninja's lunging with a lot of his punches. Not a lot of power behind him. Now in the close quarters trying to put it together. Arm shots. That's what you do when you get tired. You talk about ebb and flow, Mr. Quadros. The pendulum of momentum to and fro. Lawler wants nothing to do on the ground. What we're seeing here is the opposite of Ninja's prediction. He said that Lawler was going to run out of gas. I got Ninja getting tired here. Ninja keeps trying to sneak that left elbow in. This is exactly the kind of fight that Robbie Lawler wants. He loves the brawl. A takedown doesn't seem to be in the cards for Ninja right now. Not even close. You think it's frustrating him that he can't take Lawler down? Well, realistically, Lawler is the better wrestler of the two. Technically, Ninja is the better jujitsu man. Problem is, you got to get a guy on the floor to do jujitsu, with the exception of the standing guillotine. Body kick by Hua follows it up with a left right. Lawler avoiding most of that attack, and Lawler really just very methodical. Hua slaps another inside cut kick to Robbie Lawler. Final 15 seconds of this second round. And remember, championship fights, and we got five rounds. Will Robbie Lawler's conditioning 
last the five rounds. That's always been a question mark, but he does appear to be in tremendous shape. And again, knowing what's at stake, working with the likes of Militich and now the hit squad, they're ready to go. Ninja dropped down and shot for a takedown, but it was so telegraphed, Robbie didn't, almost didn't even have to sprawl. It just turned sideways and ended with a really nice punch combination. Ninja shook it off, but he knew it's gonna take more than that to get Ruthless down. And is Hua getting tired? We're seeing him uh, get taken down just off a simple standing ankle pick. Robbie compels him, get back up, come on, let's trade. Well, we stated earlier, gentlemen, that this belt means everything to Hua. We'll see. Can he dig down deep? He's gonna have to dig deep, and he's gonna have to catch his second win. Meanwhile, Robbie Lawler giving the thumbs up sign, feeling that this fight is you go, third round, you ready? totally going the way he wants it to. Let's go, come on! Third round underway, scheduled for five for the Elite XC Middleweight Championship. To me, Ninja has to downshift here, but Robbie Lawler is in cruise control. But if he downshifts, does he take does he, does he take himself out of that shooter box game? The shooter box game is an aggressive game. Oh, oh. great kick, punch combination by Lawler. And a Superman punch by Lawler. As I said in the last round, the web is being spun by the spider, Robbie Lawler. He's setting a trap for Ninja. Ninja continues to deliver those inside cut kicks. But does not follow up. Maybe trying to utilize it to set up the takedown to take it to the ground to utilize some of the jujitsu, knowing that Robbie Lawler is a formidable force in the stand-up. Robbie said that he was not worried about the jujitsu, and he hasn't even been close to being tested by it. Lawler's like a cyborg, just, just eating those kicks. Just taking them. Lawler finally starting to check those kicks. He's figuring out the timing on Ninja's leg attack. And a high head kick by Lawler. Straight right. And Who Robbie, again comes forward. And Robbie set it up with that left roundhouse kick to the body. Who goes downstairs to the body, is hit with an uppercut. Drops his hands momentarily, and now a combination by Lawler, beginning to pick apart. Marilla Ninja Hoos on the canvas. Lawler swinging wildly, dropping one. Champion, meanwhile, there is concern for Marilla Ninja Hua as the crack medical team definitely tending to him, making sure that he's all right. But Steven, what a fight it was, and you were just waiting for that wick to be lit somehow, some way. Biding his time, ruthless Robbie Lawler beginning to pick apart Marilla Ninja Hua. Caught him, and he finished him via TKO. He is the second Elite XC middleweight champion, and the crowd erupting like a Hawaiian volcano. We knew that Lawler was dangerous with his punches, but it was the kicks to the body that set up the opportunities and got Ninjas back to the fence where Robbie finished him. And a member of the hit squad delivering hit after hit. It's nice to see that Ninja Hua is sitting up. A 
And what a fight it was, ending here in the third round. And he'll be helped up by members of Shooter Box. And now Robbie Lawler going over to make sure that Ninja's okay. Robbie just was moving forward and it was that uppercut that set things up. Ninja didn't have an answer for the uppercut. And it was that left hand that kept landing with regularity. Ninja was folding right there and when he went to the ground, it looked like it was already a beaten fighter. Robbie picked his shot with that huge overhand right and just blasting away. Ninja was a beaten man here. What had been a very close fight up till that point ends in emphatic fashion. Ruthless Robbie Lawler becomes the new Elite XC middleweight champion. Ninja's being helped out of the, of the ring by Hujamar Federico, the trainer on the right, and Cristiano Marcelo, their jiu-jitsu trainer on the left. He, he really got beat up in this fight. But it was a close fight heading into round three. I, I don't know. I, I mean, Lola was beginning to assert himself, but let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, four seconds in round number three. Our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and the new Elite XZ middleweight champion of the world, Ruthless Robbie. Okay, guys, here we are with the new champion, Robbie. It looks like uh, you're collecting some belts here in Hawaii. I talked to Hughes earlier. He said you had matured as a fighter, and I'll be damned if he wasn't right. Oh, yeah, I've been working hard, uh, just pushing myself to the limits, getting better. I knew I was going to knock him out. I came back at the end of the second. They were like, you got to go after him. I go, I'm knocking him out, plain and simple. Thanks, Hawaii. Okay, now here, if we look up at the screen, you're gonna see the, the, the end of the match, the knockout. Uh, he wasn't hitting me with any good hands. I was blocking most of them, and I just knew corner them and uh, do what I always do when I come out here. What up, Hawaii? What up? Bam! Sit down, boy! Okay, now here's Todd Facito of Hunter World Markets and Dave Marshall, chairman of the board for Pro Elite with a presentation for the winner and not to mention Gary Shaw, president of Elite XC with the championship belt for your winner, Robbie Lawler! Okay, everybody. He's collecting belts here in Hawaii. Let's hear it one more time for the Elite XC Champion. Thank you, Hawaii. Thank you for the sport. All right, Stephen, what a memorable, electrifying main event here in Elite XC Uprising. You know, most people come to Hawaii to grab some sunshine. Ruthless Robbie Lawler comes to the islands to grab some gold. He really set the trap for Ninja, and Ninja bought into it, but it was those kicks to the body, but man, that left uppercut really turned the tide in this one. Earlier this year, we saw Robbie Lawler in Hawaii beat Frank Trigg for the Icon Sport middleweight title, and then tonight, here at Elite XC Uprising, as you see it here, Stephen, Robbie Lawler, striking machine, rocks Ninja Hu in the third round, and takes him down and ends it with the hammer fist. And it was a matter of power punching that could not be blocked. Like that uppercut. Man, that was vicious. When he smells blood, Ruthless Robbie will close the show. And close the show he does, turning the lights out on Murillo Ninja Hua, sending the affable Brazilian back home to Brazil with a lighter suitcase as the Elite XC middleweight title is going back to the United States. Jahua is a worldwide favorite in the sport of MMA. Having competed in his native Brazil, Japan, and England, it is right here in the United States where he put it all together to become a champion. Tonight, he hopes to continue his reign atop the Elite XC middleweight division. Murilo Ninja Rua, Midway Champion, Curitiba, Brasil. And the fight is over. Murilo Ninja Rua!
becomes the first ever Elite XC Middleweight Champion. Winning the championship title was one of the greatest moments of my life. Normally, fighters are nervous about defending the title, but I've been training very hard, and I feel very confident. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the cage in our main event of the evening, please welcome the challenger, Ruthless Robbie Lawler. You know, Ruthless Robbie Lawler has fought everywhere around the world. In fact, if you put up a sign and it says fights tonight, you're more than likely to see Lawler in one of those bouts. He's tasted success in the UFC, the IFL, and Pride Championship fighting. Regarding tonight's title fight against Marillo Ninja Hua, the Icon Sport middleweight champ sent Ninja an ominous message when he told us, quote, division, Ruthless Robbie Lawler. For Lawler, it all comes down to two letters, K. Oh. Ruthless Robbie Lawler, middleweight, Benton Dorf, Iowa. About my junior year in high school, I started training with the Milicic fighting systems and all those great fighters, so ever since I've been doing it. And this one is over! Once the bell rings, it is a big deal. And I love competing, I love pushing myself to the limits and testing myself. Robbie Lawler returns to glory in the middleweight division! I'm not too worried about what they say. It's about what you do. <laughs> Going into this fight, I'm very proud to represent my school, Chudo Box. Militage has many great fighters, but I think the Chudo Box is number one in the world. Robbie is a very strong puncher. If I can't knock him out, I'll take him to the ground and get a submission. I love the fans in America, but I look forward to taking both belts home to Brazil. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the Elite XC middleweight champion, Murilo Ninja Hua. Murilo Ninja Hua, if Hua decides to stand for a little bit, that will be too long, end quote. Other than that guy sitting right behind us, Phil Baroni, there might not be anyone in that 185 pound division that possesses more punch of power than Lawler. After his win versus Trigg, he's hoping he can ride the wave of his recent success tonight. Robbie has predicted a knockout maybe in the first round. This will definitely be a match up of Lawler's power versus Ninja Speed. Ruthless Robbie Lawler about to step into the cage as Icon Sport middleweight champion. Will he leave as elite XC middleweight title holder? His opponent, Nick.